Thank you, Madam Chairman, and I thank the gentlelady from Washington for the leadership that she has brought to this issue, and I also stand to thank Leader Cantor and the leadership that he has placed on this. You know, it's an incredible thing when you think about we still need the Violence Against Women's Act. And I think for so many of us who have participated in giving birth to sexual assault centers and domestic abuse centers and child advocacy centers, we realize that for far too long, domestic abuse was something that nobody ever wanted to talk about. It should be swept under the rug. It should be hidden behind the four walls of a house. It was not something that was addressed as a crime. But we all knew it was a crime, and we knew it needed to be addressed. And we know that this act and the grants that have been provided to our state and local law enforcement agencies have allowed so many, so many people the safe harbor that was needed for their opportunity. Now, I stand here today to support our Republican alternative and the amendment that we have placed on this bill, making certain that in a fiscally responsible, targeted and focused way, that those who need access to the help, the assistance, the funds are going to be able to receive the help, the assistance, the funds, the focus, and the attention that they are going to need. I also want to draw attention to the fact that we the have added... time has expired. If the gentlelady from Washington... I would be happy to yield an additional 30 seconds. The gentlelady is recognized for 30 seconds. I think that it is noteworthy that we also put some of the attention on stalking, the need to address this, that we look at the need for additional education so that someday we can say, yes, indeed, local law enforcement is fully equipped to handle the issue because the problem has been arrested. All too sadly, Madam Chairman, the problem has not been dealt with, and I yield the balance of my time. The gentlelady yields back.